So wireless, just like iPhone 8, iPhone 10 is also built for a wireless world. It has Qi charging through the glass back, and it will work with the Qi charging devices, like the ones mentioned earlier from Mophi and Belkin. It also work with third-party Qi devices that are Qi certified. And there are a lot of great devices that are going to start to come to market, particularly because of iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. But we also think we can make the wireless charging experience even better. So our team wants to create something I think all of us are going to want to use, and it might actually help move the entire industry forward. So we're going to give you a sneak peek of this idea right now. I'm sure many of you do this. I do this. I have a lot of Apple products. I love them. I use them all day long. I charge them at night. You plug in your cables. You plug in your chargers. You take those cables and chargers with you on the road when you travel. We think we have an idea of how to make this a better experience. And here it is. It's a mat that you place your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down, and it just starts to charge. And there's a beautiful new interface. If it doesn't stop there. You can place your Series 3 Apple Watch down on it, and it starts to charge as well. And you can place your AirPods with the optional new wireless charging case on it, and it starts to charge as well. They all charge. This system has a great interface. They intelligently work together and communicate with each other to manage the charging through one more efficient charging system. This is not possible with current standards, but our team knows how to do this. We call it air power. We hope people love it, that it encourages others to create more advanced solutions based on technology like this. We're going to be working with the Qi standards team to incorporate these benefits into the future of the standards to make wireless charging better for everyone. So look for the AirPower charger next year.